Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. I've got another video for you and today I'm bringing to you a grocery haul. Now, you all really like those in the past. I've done two, which were when I was 100% vegan. And if you're interested in seeing those, I'll link that up here or below just so you guys can take a look at them. Now I'm gonna be showing you what's on my list and what are some of my staple items now that I have a more well-rounded and balanced diet. So if you're interested in that, make sure that you stay tuned. Another reason why you might want to take a look is that this is going to be one of two videos which I'm really excited about. So today I'm going to be showing you what I'm getting to prepare me for a meal prep and then in the next video I'm going to be showing you what exactly I'm making with that or with this stuff that I bought today. So hopefully you guys like it and then throughout the video I'm going to be giving you a couple of tips that help prepare me for grocery shopping because we all want to save time, energy, and money. You feel me? Before we get started, go ahead and push the red button to subscribe. That way you get notified every time I post a new video, as well as give it a like. That way I know that you like this type of content. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Before we go, I wanna give you guys three quick tips. The first one is to eat before you go. Now I know you've heard this before that you should never go grocery shopping hungry and that's totally true because you'll end up buying things that you don't need, you'll be spending unnecessary money and you also could get kind of hangry because you're hungry and the stores are crowded and let's just avoid that all together. So have a quick lunch, which I've already done and you'll feel much better, you'll be more patient and you're less likely to spend unnecessary money. Number two is to shop your refrigerator and pantry. It's very important that you know what you have. That way you're not spending unnecessary money on things that you don't need to get again. You can also make estimates on um, if you're going to run out of things in the next few days or if you can potentially spread that out into the next time that you go to the store. This is also gonna help you use everything that you have instead of wasting money on things that you don't really need. Some of those things that I check for is like egg, soy milk, peanut butter, coffee. Those are all staple things in my diet that I need all the time. And so I always check before I go to make sure that I don't need to purchase those again or that I have enough to last me until the next time I need to go to the store. Tip number three is to make a list and stick to it. So as you are going pantry and refrigerator shopping, make sure that you have a, a pen and paper or your smartphone handy and cross things off the list. As a matter of fact, while I was making my list today, I put a bunch of things on there that I knew I was gonna need and then I went into my pantry and I made sure that I had it and lo and behold, I did have a couple of those things, so I just scratched them off my list. You guys should do the same. This, again, saves you time, money, and energy on buying things from the store that you don't need, taking your time out and going to search for those things, and saving you money, honey. I think I'm ready. I got my reusable bags, I have my mask, and I have this spray bottle full of rubbing alcohol that I spray on my hands religiously as I'm out. Do not judge me. So, let's go. Okay, you guys, I'm here. I'm getting ready to go into the grocery store now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably not gonna record a whole lot because it's later in the afternoon. It's about to be rush hour traffic and I wanna head home before it gets too crazy. Also, it's hot outside, so you know, that part. So I'm gonna run in here. I'm gonna try to show you guys what I'm gonna get, but then when I get home, I will unload and explain to you everything that I've got. I'm showing you guys this next section as a bonus tip because I like to shop in bulk in order to save money as well as get exactly what I need. You'd be surprised at how much money you can save by getting your rice, your spices, and your beans from this section. All right, so we are back in my apartment. As you can see, I got a bunch of stuff here and I kind of got it separated on like produce, snacks, um, dry goods, drinks, protein at the front. So I'm gonna go over all of this pretty briefly. 
but I want to remind you that I will be in uh, in my next video I'm going to be going over how I'm going to use some of these things for my meal prep so make sure you stay tuned to that let's start over here with the produce um, I'm going to give you an aerial view of everything that I got but I just want to show you that I just got an arrangement of different colors um, that provides variety uh, so I have oranges and yellows and blues and pinks and um, orange if I didn't say that and um, they all have different benefits so I only got what I needed from in terms of like starchy vegetables because I don't want that to go bad and I try to get what I need when it comes to fruit which I'm not the best at that but I'm doing better with freezing what I don't use. So right now I got only three sweet potatoes because I went pantry shopping and I already know what else I have. I only need three for my meal prep and then I have rice already here so I'm gonna use that for one of my other um, meals. Outside of that, I just got mostly fruit. Blueberries and strawberries um, are really good for you. They have uh, so many benefits and I eat those regularly. Um, I also got peaches and grapefruit. I was trying to get fruit that had, that were lower on the glycemic index um, because those don't raise your blood sugar levels um, and they don't have as many carbs generally. So um, not that I'm carb restricting at all, but I'm adjusting my macros to have a little bit more protein and a little less carb right now. I have limes and lemons and um, those are great. I love having those in my tea and a lot of times I cook um, with lime on the side. Um, and then I have avocados for some healthy fats. I love garnishing my foods with avocado, especially if I didn't cook with oil or any other type of fat. I always like to try to get some kind of healthy fat into my meal. Um, and I usually go for um, avocado, some type of nut oil or um, tahini, which is really good. So that's what I got for that produce. And I got some Brussels sprouts for some veg. Cherry tomatoes, I find that I, or no, grape tomatoes, sorry. I found that I really like grape tomatoes more than any other tomato, so that's why I have that. And then spinach. Spinach goes in my smoothies, it goes in my food. I always, always, always have spinach. So let's move over to some snacks. Um, I am getting, uh, I'm getting into eating more yogurt and cottage cheese. Those are dairy products. As you know, I don't really eat as many dairy products, but I've been experimenting with these two over the last couple of weeks because they are high in protein. Again, I'm trying to up my protein intake. Just for me, I noticed that I was much more lean when I was eating high protein, uh, a high protein diet. So I'm just doing a little bit of adjusting, which means that I'm, I'm experimenting with different, um, different, different snacks. So I got low glycemic fruit and then also high protein snacks to go with yogurt and, and, um, and cottage cheese. Outside of that, I did get me some goodies. I got these little rice cakes. Um, these are cheddar flavored mini rice cakes. I love those things and I was in the grocery store and it wasn't on my list. I'm guilty, but I really wanted uh, to have something that was kind of like feeding to my taste buds and not just all healthy foods. You gotta have some kind of balance. So I'm moving over here to some of my dry goods. I got hemp seeds because I was out. Um, I love having hemp hearts. I love adding them to my smoothies or garnishing them on top of my oatmeal. Um, that is awesome, I love doing that. And then in terms of uh, an essential, this is always an essential, peanut butter. I love nut butters, but especially peanut butter. But here's the thing. Peanut butter usually has a lot of hidden um, ingredients, palm oil, sunflower oil, things like that. Opt for the peanut butter that only has peanuts in it. Um, and you'll know if you read the ingredients list, it'll tell you what's in it, but it lists the ingredients by quantity. So if the first thing you see in any ingredients list is sugar or oil that means that it has more of those things in it than the things that are listed afterwards if that makes sense so this one says includes dry roasted peanuts that is it this uh those types of peanut butters are usually um more expensive but this one was really comparable to the other peanut butters 
Okay, another staple that I always have is coconut aminos. Uh, if you don't know what coconut aminos is, it's a seasoning spice. It's um, It can be used in place of soy sauce. It's a lot less of so uh, sodium in it. You can use it for marinade or seasoning. I, lot of, I use it a lot of times in my stir fries or uh, especially when I'm seasoning like tofu and things like that. Another thing I always have is oatmeal. Um, I used this last week to make some oatmeal cookies. They were pretty good. Let's move over to the beverages. I usually don't have a ton of beverages, but today I needed to read up. Um, I was getting low on milk, so I got some soy milk. It's really important to read the back of the labels, you guys, because I was about to get the light soy milk, and then for some reason I was like, let me just compare labels. Um, it said less calories on the light one, of course, but it had more total sugar, less protein, higher sodium by like triple the amount. Um, and overall, it just was better to get the regular soy milk. Um, it has nine gra eight grams of protein, really low in um, in sugar, only nine carbs total. Um, and so this is a good deal. This regular soy milk is high protein. Um, it's good to add to smoothies and, and oatmeal and cereal. So have that. Um, I also got some juices because I really, um, you know, being out here in the element, I really wanted to make sure that my immunity is up. So I got some good um, juices. Again, I read the label. Usually juices will say things like uh, beet juice, pineapple juice, orange juice, concentrate. They're like concentrated juices and they're really just packed with sugar. You have to find the juices that actually have the real ingredient and not just juice of that ingredient. This one says purified water, pineapple, spinach, pear, kale, lemon, and ginger. Okay. Next, I got some tea. I, um, I have some refreshment tea because I love having tea before bed or in the afternoon. And then I also got some, which you probably won't be able to see that now, but I got some sparkling water. Lastly, I'm gonna take you over to my protein. Um, I have a extra firm tofu, two of these packages. This is a staple in my house. I always have this along with beans and things like that because even though I'm not 100% plant-based, the majority of my foods are plant-based. So I always have tofu um, as an option in my house. Um, I've really been feeling ground turkey, so I got a pack of ground turkey. I just uh, you make that in the frying pan and then um, add rice or whatever to it. Um, and then I also got a pack of chicken breast. So all lean meat, all lean protein. I don't eat very much red meat. If I do, it's really just at certain times of the month, if you know what I mean. And I don't eat pork generally at all. Um, and so this is what I have right now. Again, um, I'm gonna be showing you how I'm using a, a few, most of this stuff for my meal prep for this week. And I'll have that video up to you guys soon. That's all I have for my food right now. And as you can see, a lot of natural products, a lot of um, fruits and vegetables, a lot of color, a lot of lean meats. So that's how I try to eat to stay lean. I don't know about you guys, but shopping is not my favorite thing in the world to do. But now that it's over with, I can go ahead and go and meal prep my food and I'll be done and golden for the next couple of days, which is what it's all about. It's saving time, money, and energy, to be honest with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a like and I'll make sure to continue to bring this type of content to you. Also, make sure that you stay tuned for the next video because in that video, I'm going to be showing you how I prepare this food for the week in my next meal prep video. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.